The Bible gives us another test. It gives us a test. I said, let's apply this test. Second Peter, second book of Peter, chapter 1, verse 21. This second Peter has been in dispute. There's a problem about second Peter. Among the Christians, it was not accepted as a canonical gospel up to four centuries after Jesus. The Christians themselves didn't accept it. This field, there are learned men among the Christians, they say Peter didn't write it. But now, man, let us see what he says, if he wrote it. He says, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. Prophecy, telling people what is going to happen in the future. It didn't come in olden times by the will of man, whims, fancies, your impulse, whatever you felt like talking, you talk, no, no. But holy men of God spoke, spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Whatever the Holy Ghost told them to say, they said it. That's what prophecy is. Is it all right? So God Almighty, through the Holy Ghost, we say Achi Jibreel, Archangel Gabriel, being the Wahi, they said, now whatever he inspired people to write, they wrote. So let's examine. We examine, it says here, that before Jesus was born, his mother Mary is told by the angel that this son of yours, Isa, he will be great and will be called the son of the highest and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David he will sit on the throne of his father David Dawud you know he was a king ruler in Jerusalem so God Almighty will give your son that throne he will be a ruler a king sitting on the throne throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob Yaqub al-Islam's family Bani Israel Yaqub al-Islam had 12 sons they became 12 tribes the Bani Israel he will rule over the Bani Israel forever Hamesha you know, forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. That's a prophecy. Poor Maryam alayhi salam, when she got this news, she must have been elated. Oh, my son will be a ruler, a king, sitting on the throne of his great grandfather, Dawud alayhi salam. Very good. What happened? Instead of him sitting on the throne, a mushrik is sitting on the throne, Pilate, and is sitting in judgment on Jesus. Amazing. He is supposed to be the ruler, supposed to be ruling the Jews forever. Who is ruling in Israel now? Who? Jesus? When I ask these missionaries, who is ruling in Israel? Jesus Christ? He said he is going to rule over the house of Jacob forever. You know what's ever? Yes, ever means ever. For all times. Who is ruling at the moment? Two thousand years have gone. Where is Jesus? He's sitting there on a hot seat in heaven, so they say. He's sitting on the right hand of God. He's waiting till his enemies become his footstool. Who are his enemies? Jews. They are ruling there, running amok, knocking hells into the poor Palestinians. Hmm? And Jesus is supposed to be ruling forever. And he'll sit on the throne of his father David. This Pilate fellow is questioning him. Art thou the king of the Jews? So he says, thou sayest, that's what you say. He said, am I a Jew? To tell you this is what your people say that you are claiming to be a king so Jesus says my kingdom is not of this world does that mean he's he's sitting on the throne of his father David he said my kingdom is not of this world may Konikrek is knee from here the world knee 